Hey, y'all. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is early in the morning, like 1230-ish, uh, Wednesday, the 25th of October, 2022. Right now, it is 65 degrees Fahrenheit in Jacksonville, Florida. Humidity is kind of high, 92%. It's, it's damp chilly out here tonight. 18 degrees Celsius. So, I did a fuel test not too long ago using these uh, double shot cups from uh, Dollar Tree. This one still has some of the fuel left in it. It hasn't evaporated. It also it didn't burn all the way down. So, we're going to try something else tonight. We're going to use these little tea light canisters or, or holders or whatever let's bring you all down here hopefully I can get you down far enough I'm going to add another fuel into the mix this time let's see probably do two and two huh I get them as level as possible. Uh, now for this one back here, come on, why aren't you? There we go. We're going to go ahead and use isopropyl alcohol. Pretty much fill that up. We'll try to use this Rutland's fire starter. This is a gel. Maybe I should shake it up. I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but we'll try it that way. We'll go ahead and fill this up. It's a pretty blue color. This might be a little bit more. Uh, oh well. Over here, we're going to use this Dollar Tree 70% hand sanitizer, 70% alcohol. This is the cheapest fuel out there. Uh, well, not really, because this is about four dollars for 32 ounces, and this is a dollar and a half for eight ounces. So, this would be almost five dollars for the same amount of fuel, and 91% burns a lot better. This is not absolute vodka, this is hand sanitizer. and isopropyl alcohol mixed. Approximately 50-50. And I should put that, put a red tag or something on that, shouldn't I? So, uh, all right, let's see what we got going. We're at four, 25 they are all lit I'm going to move these fuels down out of the way
and then I think I'll turn off the light. Or at least the main light. And we'll see how that goes. So. Probably don't really need a windbreak. This is just a large uh, aluminum pan from Dollar Tree. It's been through multiple uses. I spilt a little bit of the alcohol out. It's burning on the sand. The uh, hand gel or the hand cleaner, the hand sanitizer is bubbling. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hopefully I had that right. Those four little burners are putting off a lot of heat. I'm just going to go ahead and let these burn. I'll probably take it in and fast forward it. But I'm not going to cut it. Um, I'm just going to sit back over here with my other phone <laughs> and check out some other YouTube videos. So right now it looks like the alcohol is burning down rather quickly. So is the hand sanitizer. That fire gel is, is hanging on. This was $13, I think. $12, something like that. $11, $13 for 32 ounces. So let's see if it's. If the alcohol is $4 for 32 ounces, this would have to burn three times as long to make this uh, make it more economical than the alcohol. It's possible it'll do that. There's no wind, and this is moving. Maybe I'm not going to have to fast forward. That alcohol is almost out. The hand sanitizer is bubbling down to the bottom a little bit. So is the mix. but I think it's going to keep going for a little bit. At least a couple more minutes. Don't do this at home, people. This is it's why I'm doing it, so you don't have to. I 
do have some fire training. I've been working with this stuff for a long time, especially the alcohol. But especially if you're not an adult and you're not used to working with flammable liquids, this can make a mess. I made quite a mess here just a little while ago when I spilt one of these cups and ended up having to pour sand on the table to put it out. So if you're going to use this for a stove or a small heater, uh, use caution when you're filling it up. Don't fill it up where you're going to light it. Never fill the, fill the stove back up when it's hot or even warm. Wait 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It has to be cool to the touch. You're better off making two or three of the burners that you're going to use so you can just replace them okay that alcohol is gone uh, maybe a little lingering puff of flame every now and nope it's just gone Let's see if I can bring it over here. You see how the how that one how those two are bubbling. It looks like the alcohol and hand sanitizer one in the back is also out now. It, that one's not, that one doesn't have long. That's the hand sanitizer by itself. This one back here still got quite a bit in there. And we've been running what? About uh, let's see it was four minutes. It's something we're now at just at 13. Uh, doing math in my head. I'm not my grandson. So. Four from 13 is nine. So I guess we've been running nine minutes. means that little one went out at about seven minutes and that one at about eight but I'd have to really run through the video to double check on those times if you sat here and watched it with me you know what I'm talking about this one is almost done the flame is down to dancing around on the bottom picking up every little lick This is really bubbling at the moment. But it's almost got the bottom of the tin cleared off. This is going, going, going. Going, going, going. <laughs> I keep saying it's going, but it's not. Hello, Mr. Palmetto Bug. I'll catch you and roast you. It's ready to go, isn't it? And it's gone. Yep, 
this still has another I'm going to call a minute, maybe two, left to go. So if the alcohol burned out at just about eight minutes, and this is going to pass 16, that's at least twice as long. It's not three times. I don't think it'll make it to 24 minutes. But still, for those for that little bit, for that little amount of fuel from any of these, that's not that's not a bad burn time. Now the gels won't work real well. In the sand stoves, but I'm wondering if I if I make the mixture. I should try a mixture of the alcohol and the fire gel for the next test. And I'll use these same cups. That just means I need to go get another little bottle. <laughs> uh, I think I'm not going to worry about painting this. I'm going to go ahead and pour it out and just go ahead and burn it up. I can make more when I want to. It's just too dangerous to have something like that around. It's total poison. So, better to be safe than sorry. See if I can get this. A little bit of darkness. That's kind of warm. <laughs> I don't know. We're at 18 minutes. Does it have five minutes in it? No. It'll make it to 19, I bet. No, it won't. There it goes. It's going. It's flickering out. It's flickering. It's gone. Let me get that light back on again. Ah, well, there you go, folks. That was, that was interesting. It did, it did better than I thought it was going to do, it did differently than I thought it was going to do. I sincerely thought that the alcohol was going to outperform the others, but it looks like this Rutland fire starter is the winner so now I did fill that up a little bit higher than the others it's a little difficult to control but not much so maybe take two minutes off of that burn time I don't have a syringe to measure out what I need to measure out, but anyhow, uh, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is you all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fantastic. 
you want to check me out on Facebook or Instagram, I'll get links in the description box where that is on your device of choice. I also put links to similar videos. I've got sand stoves and sand burners and oil burners and alcohol burners over the past couple of years, and I've been doing a couple here the past couple of weeks. So I'll put most of the links to most of those down below in the description. And uh, yeah, check them out if you want. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff that YouTube says to do. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. Until I see you all again, I hope you have a fan day. So watch you, y'all.